The year was 1999 and I was headed to my grandma's house for some Sunday fun day family time. And being the nine year old kid that I was, I had not cut my video game virginity on anything sharper than Super Mario 64. So I was confused and perplexed when I arrived at my destination and my uncle handed me this. What could it be? What does it do? How many stars do you have to collect? All questions that filled my head until I sat down, put in the CD, and pressed play. Holy shit! My eyes had been opened to a beautiful, blossoming little baby boy of a genre the arena shooter. Quake 3, Unreal Tournament, games paving the way towards fast-paced, face-melting, rocket-jumping insanity. I found myself going from throwing out bananas one day to throwing out tea bags the next, if you get what I'm saying. You see, ever since the release of Doom in 1993, shooters were definitely what was up in the gaming world. They were that hot girl at the bar, and as the years went on and you kept slamming those beers, they just kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Quake and Duke Nukem in 96, Goldeneye in 97, motherfucking Half-Life in 98, dude. God damn! Multiplayer was a big part of these games as well for sure. But I feel the focus was mainly around the single player modes, gunning through hordes of enemies and playing through sometimes evocative and immersive stories. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. But it wasn't until the year of our lord, 1999, that I feel developers really looked at the situation and said, stories, single player, that shit's all good, but sometimes a guy just wants to plant a rocket in his friend's face while eating some pizza pops and calling his mom a bitch. Is that too much to ask? Quake 3. Boom. Pure fucking insanity, my dude. This game did away with any kind of story, instead opting for a single player mode, which was just a copy of the multiplayer, but with bots and focused on pure intensity of gameplay. Tons of crazy and quickly respawning weapons, small and purposefully structured levels forcing players into fast-paced bloodbaths and a constant need to keep moving. This is the hallmark of the arena shooter, and for a select number of cool kids back in the day, it was the only way to play a shooter online. You know, compared to a lot of modern games that came after, and even contemporary titles of the time, like Counter-Strike, where you just take a little nap in the corner with your sniper and wait till somebody comes around that your wall hacks can help you headshot, arena shooters said, fuck that shit, dude. Get in there, jump around, and just explode somebody, you know? Turn them into some Christmas confetti while jumping over a lava pit Mach 10 with quad damage and a plasma rifle. That's what video games are supposed to be about. I digress. Quake 3 played a major part in my life, and arena shooters in general are, as a genre, inseparable from that experience. So I urge you to give it a try. Shoot some friends, call them a bitch, teabag them, it's good for the soul. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Hey, if you liked the video, subscribe, because I post a new one every week. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post and comment down below to let me know what your favorite position to teabag somebody is. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Love ya. Bye bye.